Hey everyone, how have you been lately? I'm really excited today because I want to introduce you to an amazing way to promote your digital products on WordPress using WP file download. If you're a regular WordPress user who sells digital products on the platform, you might already be familiar with the popular plugin called WooCommerce. However, I'd like to show you another method to promote and sell your downloadable products, which is WP file download. So, what sets these two plugins apart? WP file download is designed to be extremely user-friendly, with easy-to-use features that are simple to understand. Even if you're new to the plugin, you'll quickly grasp its functionality with just a few simple steps. What's more, when it comes to product promotion, WP file download offers a wider range of designs and themes for visually presenting and categorizing your products. In contrast, WooCommerce only provides a single theme for listing your products. By having more themes available, you have more options to make your products appealing to your customers or site visitors. Another advantage of WP file download is its user-friendly nature, which means most of its features are easy to navigate. With WP file download, you can create batches of products with just a few clicks. It's as simple as that. This feature allows you to quickly generate multiple products without any hassle. Additionally, you can mix your digital products for sale with other file downloads, giving you even more flexibility. WP File Download also offers cloud integration with services such as Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive, among others. By connecting to your cloud storage, you can host your files on multiple platforms. This is particularly useful when working with large files or software that occupy significant storage space on your hard drive. Furthermore, you can add remote files as downloadable products to sell. This means that even files not stored on your server can be offered as downloadable files. So, let's dive deeper into the plugin and explore its features. Together, we'll discover how to create digital downloadable products on your WordPress site using WP File Download. Hey there, welcome to the main display of WP File Download. This interface is designed to be incredibly user-friendly and easy to navigate. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice the Categories and Management bar. Creating a new category is as simple as clicking the Add Category button or right-clicking to create a brand new category from scratch. It's worth mentioning that the new category will always be placed in your current location, but don't worry, you can easily move it around later using the convenient drag-and-drop feature. If you right-click on an existing category, you'll be presented with a range of options to manage it. You can rename the category, make a duplicate as a backup, change its color to enhance organization, or select Edit Category to access even more advanced options. Now, let's shift our focus to the features that integrate with WooCommerce. Normally, if you right-click on a single file and choose to edit its details, an extension like this will appear, allowing you to adjust certain settings. However, if you add the file as a Woo product via WP file download, and then return to edit that file, you'll notice that the WooCommerce file access restriction is immediately applied, and the editing extension looks different. By labeling the file as a Woo product, the Woo access restriction is always enabled, but you also have the option to change it to both Woo and WP file download restrictions for added protection. You can learn all about WP File Downloads Access Limitation by clicking on the video link that appeared in the upper right corner. For now, I'll give you a brief overview. Access Limitation refers to the restrictions on which role or user can access a particular file or category. You can even set up passwords for enhanced security. This setting allows you to better manage the security of your files. Moving back to creating downloadable products via WP File Download, in addition to creating individual files, I can also select multiple files and batch create them as a complete product in WooCommerce, just like this. If we switch to the WooCommerce product page, you can see all the products I've just created in WP File Download. And it's not just about creating them, I can also present them as downloadable files on my page, like this. As a customer, you can view or add them to your cart for purchase. This is a demo page I've prepared to show you, but don't worry, I'll guide you on how to create it in the upcoming steps. So let's continue moving forward. Let's now discuss how to create batches of digital downloadable products using WP File Download. When you're in the main display of the WP File Download plugin, select multiple files from your desired category, 
and then right-click, just like this. You'll see an option to create a Woo product from the files you've selected. By choosing to create a Woo product or batch create products using this method, a new window will appear, prompting you to provide the product's information, such as its name, price, category, and display image. Once you've completed this step and move on to the next, you'll notice the WP file download redirects you to the product editing page of Woo. On this product editing layout, you have the freedom to take various actions related to your product. You can add a description, set a price or a promotional sale, and in the right column, you'll find more detailed settings for your product, including display images and galleries, as well as the category it belongs to. Once you've finished editing your products and making necessary adjustments, it's time to sell them to your customers by displaying them on your web pages. I'll demonstrate a quick method using Elementor, but it's similar if you're using another WordPress page builder. Simply search for the Woo widgets in the search bar of your Elementor page and add the product block to your design. Then, go to the preview page to see how your products are beautifully displayed. In this example, I already have other products and categories that I created earlier, so let's add some items to my cart and proceed to the shopping cart to check out. Here's my cart, which contains the items I added earlier. In this tab, you can review the details of your order, such as the product's name, quantity, and price. Once you're satisfied, you can proceed to checkout to complete the purchasing process. After all the necessary steps are completed, you'll be able to download the products you just purchased. As I mentioned earlier, WP File Download not only offers compatibility with Woot to officially manage your downloadable files and sell digital products, but it also provides a variety of themes to enhance the visual appeal of your pages. Files can be listed either using WooCommerce Pages or using WP File Download plugin. Here, as you can see this is my digital product listing made by WooCommerce. This is classic view of my products, and you can use a shortcode, the default page or an Elementor widget to show that. Now, let me take you on a brief tour of this WP file download themes. Now, let's experiment with changing themes to see how they impact the appearance of my page. First, I'll add some content to my page using the WP file download widget and preview how it looks. Now, I'll proceed to change the theme by going back to the main display of the WP file download plugin. I'll select the category I just presented on my page and edit it. From there, I'll choose a different theme, return to my Elementor page, and refresh it to update the content. As a result, my files are now displayed in a different style. By utilizing the options and settings available in the Edit Category section, you have the flexibility to customize the display of your files and tailor your page content to your liking. Feel free to choose any theme that suits your preferences and customize your page accordingly. Another useful widget provided by WP File Download is the File widget. It allows you to select a single file from a category. The file widget offers the same preview and download functionalities as the category widget, and you have the ability to customize the appearance of the files using the icons builder section. Before we wrap up, I'd like to introduce you to another advanced feature of the WP File Download plugin, Google Drive integration. By connecting WP File Download to your Google Drive storage, you can access files that are stored on your Google Drive directly without the need to upload them to your WordPress site. The integration is fully synchronized, allowing you to utilize your Google Drive files with all the other widgets and features I mentioned in the video. This includes batch creating files with Woo and using the Drive category in the Elementor widget. This integration proves particularly helpful when dealing with large files or storage-consuming software, as it reduces the burden on your hosting storage. So, how do you enable Google Drive integration? It's quite simple. Just click on WP File Download Configuration and navigate to the Cloud Connect section. There, you'll find Google Drive listed among other available cloud connectors such as Dropbox or OneDrive. Left-click on Google Drive and select the Connect button located in the upper right corner of the tab. Once you've successfully connected to your Google Drive, go back to WP File Download, and you'll notice another section with the Google Drive icon in your management column, like this. To wrap things up, let's take a look at the pricing for the plugin. 
In addition to all the plugin features we just covered, WP File Download got all the tools you'll ever need for a download manager, like a file search engine, file listing themes, among many others. WP File Download plugin offers many third parties plugin integration like DD Builder, Gutenberg, and Elementor, which I demonstrated earlier in this video. There are also some cloud connectors like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. The plugin is available for $49, which includes all the features I mentioned in this video. But if you want to use the cloud connectors add on, for example, like Google Drive, you'll need to upgrade to the $69 option. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.